Hey guys, today I'm working on my E46. Now it's a little bit different from when y'all have last seen it. There's more camber, it's more static, wider wheels, all that stuff. But it's been like that for a while and I'm kind of changing it up now, I'm doing some modifications. Now this isn't a how-to video, but I just want to show that what I'm doing and maybe y'all can get an idea off of it. Um, I'm, I'm going wider, so M3 fenders, and I'll show y'all other stuff what's going on. So. This is my car right now. It's tucking 10 and a half in the rear. This is negative 10 camber 11. The front, clear tells they're just OEM. But so for the front, this is 10 and a half in the front as well. It's 18 by 10 and a half, negative eight camber offset is plus two. Um, my tire is a 225, 35, 18 and on this setup i kind of rubbed the top of this arch so today i'm going to be cutting it out i can't tell by this drill out the spot welds. by this tape i'm drilling out the spot welds right now and then i'll be cutting along this line here yeah. so we'll have to see how it goes and after that if i want to go lower i'll have to cut into this shock tower here and weld some reinforcement plates from here but we'll figure that out later this is what we're doing right now You want to save that from the top up or what? Just tack it and see this up. Stuck on this tack right here. And this was the stuck. Show. So you want to cut out next to the shut towers now? You want to cut out next to the shut towers now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I cut this out. Um, now, some people might say that, you know, I'm going to lose rigidity and stuff. I'm not worried about that because I'm static. Now, if you wanted to reinforce this because I just cut that out, I made this plate. Um, it's a template, but it sits up here. And it connects to the top of the top of this fender where the fender bolts to. I'll show you that. So it pretty much sits in here like this. It sits in. And what I would do is weld it to the top of this fender here. Weld it, weld it to the tower. It should be re reinforced. Now with that cut out, what I'm gonna do is maybe take an inch off of this here and I'm gonna cut slits in it so that way I can bend it up and so it should possibly seal this up here okay so now that I got the nice arch smoothly cut as best as I could now well I was cutting out these drill tabs but I think I'm going to leave them 
I'm gonna cut slits and fold them up, see if they can reach here. I think by cutting it off, it might not reach this anymore, which is fine, but if I if it can reach that that's better because I can re-weld it. Alright, so they're all cut out, and now I'm just going to hit them up with the hammer and see what that does. I got them nice and bent up yeah on this one these are a little short because I had cut off the little ears where these holes were so go ahead and leave those and then once you beat them up then you cut the access off all right that's pretty much it for the fender I just made sure that I had good clearance so after doing that you can pretty much weld it weld it up if the tabs are long enough weld it up seal it and it should be good to go.